for cultural, inspirational, and spiritual programming. Ram, 
बोले श्री पवन पुत्र हनुमान की जय सीताराम शुभ स्वागत वेरी स्पेशल वेलकम टू यू टूनाइज ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ मेंबर्स ऑफ द मंडल द ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमिटी ऑफ दिस यज्ञ टू दिस फोर्थ नाइट ऑफ डिवोशन टू हनुमान जी इन डीड माई डेयर फ्रेंड्स It is a great blessing for us to come together once more tonight in our journey through the pages of Ram Charitamanas exploring the divine glories of Shri Pavan Putra Hanuman ji And so on this fourth night of this yagya we once again have the great blessing the great opportunity to delve into the golden pages of Ramayan Katha At this point in time, Khara Ho Jai. Let us all stand as we join together in Hanuman Ji Ki Aarti. Saajan Chavar Shitam Yuktam, Vahi Na Yojitam Maya, Deepam Grahan Devasya Trelokyam Timiratam. आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की Lanka 
राजारी असुर संहार सिया राम जी के काज सवार लक्ष्मण मूर्छित पर सखार आनुष जीवन प्राण तारे लक्ष्मण मूर्छित पर सखार आनुष जीवन
एम्स वाले श्री गजानन स्वामी की श्रीमापति महादेव की पवन सुत हनुमान की श्री वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की उरे सा जगन्नाथ की बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय सियापति रामचंद्र की जय आसन लीजिए कहने बी सी टेट बोटी पुजारी पंडित पंडित सुरेश महाराज पंडित विनायक महाराज श्रोतागन भक्तजन डिवोटिस ऑफ गॉड और सेकन टू नाइट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमेटी ऑफ दिस सेवन नाइट हनुमान जी यज्ञ इट मे एक्सेंट टू यू ए वेरी स्पेशल वेलकम टू दिस फोर्थ नाइट ऑफ डिवोशन सेवन नाइट्स हनुमान जी यज्ञ टू नाइट टू नाइट माई डेफरेंस एस वी प्रिपेयर अवर सेल्स वन स्मॉल टू डेल्व इन टू द ग्लोरियस कथा ऑफ हनुमान जी वी जॉन टू गेट द फर्स्टली इन ध्यान इन मेडिटेशन as we stabilize our thoughts and focus our energies on that most wondrous beauteous form of shri hanuman swami he pavan putra he bachrang bali he mangal murti maruti nandan you are known by so many names of prabhu but to us you are one and same benevolent lord hanuman swami to now just to come together in this beautiful yagya shala we do so with one common purpose and that is to render unto you o prabhu our prem or bhakti or love and devotion bless us this night to the successful completion of our devotion this year this evening and your divine blessings enable us to receive and to understand the divine glory is enshrined within the pages of ram charitra manas and so as we focus our thoughts and energies in this manner we now blend our voices together as a pair of speaks of bhagwan in his manifold manifestations oh श्री नम श्री सरस्वत नम श्री गुरु चरण कमले नमो नम ओं प्रणमय शीर्षा देव गौरीपुत्र भक्तवास स्मरे आयु काम अरित सिद्ध विद्यारंभे विवाह च प्रवेश निर्गमे तथा संग्रामे संकते च विघन तस्ते ओं श्वेत परमासन देव श्वेतपुष्पाशोधि श्वेतांबरधर निवेतगंधनूलेपन ध्यान मूल गुरूर्मूर्ति पूज मूल गुरूर्पर मंत्रूल गुरूर्वाक्यम मोक्ष मूल गुरूर्पर अध्यारहते देवी आदिशक्ति महेश्वरी योग जय योग संभूते महालक्ष्मी नमस्तुते 
ओम भद्रकाली नमो नित्यम सर्वशक्ति स्वरूपिनी जगत्स्थिते जगन्माता नारायणी नमस्तुते नागेन्द्रहाराय त्रिलोचनाय भस्मरागाय महेश्वराय निताय सुधाय दिगंबराय तस्म नकाराय नम शिवाय मनुजवं मारुत तुल्य वेदम जितेन्द्रिय बुद्धिमता वातात्मजन्वानूत मुख्यम श्रीरामदूत शरण प्रबद्धे राम रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेरसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीता पचये नम नीलाभुज श्यामलकोमलांगं सीता सारू पतम भाग्यं पानू महाशायक चारु चापं नमा राम रघुवन सनाथन या देवी सर्वूतेषु दुर्गा रूपेण संस्कृत नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वूतेषु शक्ति संस्कृत नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वूतेषु दयाण संस्कृत नमस्त 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 नमो नम नमस्त 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 नमो नम ओं शांति 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 हरे Is this is the dedicated towards to Sri Ganesh Bhagwan. Is we glorify the Divine Lord, Bhagwan Ganapati, praying for His blessings and for the success of our devotions here this evening. Sumiran Deep. जलाय के करु हृदय में ध्यान शरण पर की लाज रख हे मेरे भगवान गणपति यू गान सक्सेस एंड फुलफिलमेंट टू योर डिवोटी सर यू मूव ऑल सॉन्गोज and this to happiness and fulfillment tonight to prabhu we surrender unto your lotus like feet rakh laaj meri ganpati rakh laaj meri ganpati rakh laaj meri गणपति अपनी शरण में दीजिए कर आज गणपति कर आज गणपति अपनी कृपा दीजिए रख लाज गणपति सीधी विनायक 
दुख हरण संताप हारी सुख करण सीधी गजानंद स्वामी की जय वंस हनुमान जी हट सीन सीता देवी अप्लाइंग ऑन हमांग सिंदूर हनुमान जी यू नो आस्क अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन लास्ट नाइस कथा ही मेट विद श्री राम लक्ष्मण अप्रोचिंग द ऋषि मुख पर्वत ही आक्सर क्वेश्चन को टू मशाम गौर शरीरा छत्रि रूप फिर बन भीरा कठिन भूमि कोमल परगामी कवन हेतु बिचरहु बन स्वामी हु आर यू व्हाट आर यू डूइंग हियर सेवर क्वेश्चंस ही आस एंड सो व्हेन ही हैड सीन सीता देवी अपॉन हर मांग द सिंदूर ही हैड इंक्वायर्ड ऑफ हर मदर मां व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ दिस एंड सो शी हैड एक्सप्लेन टू हिम ओ पवन पुत्र फॉर द मैरिड वुमन हु वेयर्स दैट सिंदूर ऑन द मांग it preserves the longevity of a husband and the longevity of the marriage itself so there are benefits you know to wearing that sindhu and so he had said to her mother if a tiny amount you know how much do you apply on the mang just a little bit isn't it if a tiny amount of this sindhu would prolong the life of my lord shri ramchandra then i would bathe my entire body with the sindhu and this he did my dear friend lal varan so he appears red in color this is testimony my dear devotees to the type of steadfast devotion that hanuman ji possessed 
for Bhagwan Sri Ramchandra that whatever was required, you know, he was willing to do, my dear friends, for the benefit, for the welfare of his Lord Sri Ramchandra. And in that itself is a very important lesson for us all that we too, my dear friends, are supposed to be mindful of what is required of us in discharge of our duties to Bhagwan Sri Ramchandra. And so, in this regard, we chant tonight Ram Vandana. Let us all dedicate our thoughts to that Divine Lord, Bhagwan Sri Ramchandra, as He, Hanuman Swami, would have immersed His energies in the Divine form of Prabhu Ramchandra. As Vinayak Pandit Vinayak Maharaj would lead us in Ram Vandana. Ramaya Rama Bhadraya Ramachandraya Vedase Ragunathaya Nathaya Sitaya Pataya Nama Apadama Pahartaram Dataram Sarvasamparam Loka Bhiramam Shri Ramam Bhuyo Bhuyo Namam Yaham Ram Rameti Rameti Rame Rame Manorame Sahasranam Tattulyam Ram Ram Varanane Pujantam Ram Ram Neti Maruram Maruracharam Aruvya Kavita Shakam Vande Vaniki Kokilam Ramam Lakshmana Purvajam Raghuvaram Sita Patim Sundaram Kakustam Karunarnavam Gunanidhim Vipra Priyam Dharmikam Rajendram Satya Sandham Dasharatatanayam Shamalam Shantamurti Vande Luka Bhiramam Ragukulati Lakam Ragavam Ravanari Ramo Rajamani Sada Vijayate Ramam Ramesham Haji Rame Nabihatami Shacharachamun Ramaya Tasnai Nama Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram Ramaya Dasusyaham Rame Chittalaya Sadabhavutume Bhorana Mamudara Yanmaya Vashavarti Vishamakilam Brahmadi Devasura Yatsatvaram Dashaiva Bhati Sakalam Raja Yata Hir Brahma Yat Pada Plava Meka Meva Hibhavam Bodhi Siti Shavatam Vande Ham Tamasheshakarana Param Rama Kyam Isham Hari Bodhi Sita Pati Rama Chandra Ki Jai Das Masa Rahe Jab Garbha Rahe तब ही प्रभु से तुम काम किया मैं बाहर हो हम भक्ति करो तेरी कारण लोग भये दुखिया एत आई जगत में भूल गयो तेरी कारण लोग भये दुखिया कभी दी हलहे मन छेत करो भजो राम सिया हरि जनम लिया हरि हो राम मिलन कब हो अंधिस वाला जी रहे हरि हो राम मिलन कब हो अंधिस वाला जी रहे हरि हो राम Oh, oh. 
के पंच चले पुलिस वाला रहे हरि हो राम नीलम कब हो पुलिस वाला रहे हरि हो राम नीलम कब हो पुलिस वाला रहे सीतापटी रामचंद्र की जय अनविटन ऑफ अटेंशन टू अवर कथा टू नाइट इन टू नाइट कथा हनुमान जी इज रिमाइंडेड ऑफ हिज पावर्स द वेरियस बूंस दैट हैज बीन बेस्टोड अपॉन हिम जामवंत माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इन टू नाइट कथा रिमाइंड्स हिम ऑफ हिज पावर्स एंड सो हनुमान जी एम बाक्स टू नाइट अपॉन गेटिंग दिस रिमाइंडर from jamavant my dear friends on a very perilous journey across the ocean into lanka but why did he need to be reminded my dear friends of his powers once when he was very young in his youthful days you know hanuman ji was very energetic very agile you know he would run and jump and fly of course from location to location and one day you know he disturbed the devotion of the rishis and munis and he had a habit actually of doing this they would sit you know when you are sitting in devotion you need to be peaceful people can't be running around and jumping around and so on it's going to interfere with your devotion you know we all seated so very peacefully and quiet here tonight but if someone is jumping and prancing and so on as hanuman ji would do from time to time when he was a young child this of course would disturb 
you know, that atmosphere that is needed for devotion. And so the Shrapas pronounced upon him that you are so powerful, you are so energetic, you possess all of these Siddhis. All of these, you would forget about it. And then they were reminded, you know, Muneshwaro, you have pronounced the Shrap upon him, but it is he, Hanumanji, the same young child would grow up into Pavan Putra, who would have to bring assistance, come to the assistance of Bhagwan Sri Ramchandra in destroying the host of the Rakshasas in Lanka. And so he was given the blessing that when you are reminded of Pavan Putra, all of these powers that you possess would come back to you. And so in this Chopin, Jamavant is about to reinstill or reset these powers that Hanumanji possesses. The army of Sri Ramchandra had been divided into four battalions, and each battalion was sent in the four cardinal direction to the east, west, north, and southern direction. They, cho they searched extensively for Sita Devi but found no trace of her. Finally, now they have assembled on the seashore. All that separates them from Lanka is the ocean. 
and they are now discussing amongst themselves you know what should be our next plan of action we have searched the valleys and the mountains and the villages the caves and so on and no trace have been found of her and whilst they were discussing amongst themselves my dear friends some party alighted from his mountain cave hearing the commotion that was taking place beneath him and it is he some party who gave them that very important and vital information for which they were searching i saw some party said to Jamavant and others, when Ravan in the Pushpak Biman flew across the ocean, on the other side of this ocean lies the Mount Trikut, and upon the Mount Trikut is built the city of Lanka. There, in the grove of Ashoka trees, what is called Ashok Vatika, you would find Sita Devi being held as a prisoner of Ravan. This is the information, my dear friends, for which they were searching the mountains and the valleys and villages and so on. And so they were very thankful, you know, to some party for giving to them this vital information. And so now they are speculating, you know, how can they cross the ocean? Jamavan says, I am much advanced in age. In my younger years, I could have easily crossed this ocean. But now, due to my advanced age, it is difficult for me to undertake this very perilous and long journey. Angad was there. He says, I think I can go, but I will not be able to return. Let us remember as yet, my dear friends, the bridge has not as yet been built. Remember, Sri Ram and his army built that bridge connecting India to what is present-day Sri Lanka. By the way, that Setu Band that bridge across the ocean still exists today. Today, satellite photographs, my dear friends, reveal that bridge that was built more than 7,000 years ago still exists today, connecting India to Sri Lanka. Obviously, you know, over the passage of 7,000 years, the waters of the, the ocean, the constant action of the waves would have eroded the bridge. You know, we would build a bridge today with, our, with all our modern equipment and so on. And 50 years later, the bridge begins to fall apart. 7,000 years have passed, my dear friends, and the Setu Band still exists today. And it's important that we know this, that it is documented and still exists today. Because the detractors of Hinduism would come to you and say, what you read here is a fairy tale. It did not take place. And it's important as Hindus that we teach ourselves and especially the younger Hindus. So when we would be countered by individuals such as these, my dear friends, we'll be able to tell them that you are pushing false information, false propaganda, that what I read in Rama and Katha took place. And we have evidence of that today, my dear friends, in present day. India. So, the bridge had not as yet been built, my dear friends. So, they are projecting ideas, you know, how to cross the ocean. Jamavan says, I cannot undertake that journey. Angad says, I can go, but I cannot return. And so, after each one had given their suggestion, Jamavan turns to Hanuman Swami. Upavan Putra, it is only you who possess the strength and the endurance to cross this ocean. After all, Upavan Putra, you are the son of Pavan Devata. You have been given the power of the wind. After all, Upavan Putra, Hanuman Swami, you are the one who are in possession of the Ashta Siddhi. Remember, Ashta Siddhi Navanidhi Kedata, and he goes on to outline to Hanuman Swami what these Ashta Siddhis are all about. Ashta Siddhi, my dear friends, are the eight perfections of Hanuman Swami. The first is Mahima. This makes that individual. It enables him to enhance his body to any size that he wants. Mahima. 
the first of the eight Siddhis. And of course we know that when he went to get the Mool Sajivan, he utilized this particular Siddhi, making his body larger than the mountain. He picked up the entire mountain in his hand. The next one, the second, Anima. This perfection, this Siddhi, makes that individual invisible. and capable of entering any substance easily. You know, in today's world, you look at certain movies and you see someone being able to walk through the wall and walk through the door. Listen to Anima. And I think they got the script from Hanumanji because Hanumanji was doing all of this thousands of years before anybody in Hollywood decided to do something like this. Anima enables that individual to become invisible and also to enter and pass through any substance, be it a concrete wall, a steel door, any substance imaginable, my dear friends. More than 7,000 years ago, Hanumanji was doing this. The third Siddhi, Garima, this makes that individual, it enables him to grow as heavy as he wants to. So you can go from 100 pounds to 1 ton or 5 tons or 10 tons with this particular Siddhi, Garima. The fourth, Laghima, this makes him as light as he wants to. And we're going to discuss, you know, in coming nights how he was able to do you know, utilize all of these siddhis to make that individual as light as he wants to. As a matter of fact, in a short while, when he is crossing the ocean, my dear friends, this is the siddhi he utilizes. Hanumanji, using this particular siddhi, Laghima, is able to counter the force of gravity acting upon his body. And if you but to negate the force of gravity, my dear friends, acting upon your body, you too would become weightless. We would all be able to fly as Hanumanji was able to fly if at this point in time the force of gravity was to be shut down. Have you ever noticed that when the astronauts go to the moon, what do they do there? They are virtually floating around or flying around because on the moon there is zero gravity. Hanumanji, my dear friends, by utilizing this particular Siddhi, Laghima made his body as light as a feather. And so he was able, with the assistance of Pavan Devata, the deity that presides the wind, to fly across the ocean. The fifth is Prapti. This particular Siddhi makes that individual able to get anything that he wants. Now this could be a dangerous one eh? in the hands of the wrong people. And perhaps this is why you and I are not endowed with Ashta Siddhi. Only Hanumanji, you know, is in possession of Ashta Siddhi. So Prapti enables you to get anything that you want, anything that you desire in this world. Prakamya is a sixth. This makes this individual be able to go inside of the earth or fly in the sky at any altitude as he desires. So to enter into the earth as Vada Avatar did when Bhagwan Vishnu took the form of the boar or also to ascend into the sky and fly at will. Ishtifa is the seventh and it makes that individual be able to rule over any part of this world or any person or group of person that he desires. Again, when placed in the hands of the wrong people or the wrong individual, this could be used for the wrong purpose. It's a very powerful city, my dear friends, to rule any, over any part of the world, any country, any nation, or any group of people, for as long as you desire. You know, any politician would like to have this city. All politicians want to rule, not just for one term, but for as long as possible, isn't it? Ishtiva. 
my dear friends, the seventh Siddhi. And the eighth, Vashtiva, and this particular Siddhi enables that individual to control anything he wants. So it will even to control, my dear friends, the force of nature, the winds, the rain, the heat, the coldness, the fire, all of these, my dear friends, Hanumanji had Ashta Siddhi to control all of these. And so Jamavant is reminding him, they are there, my dear friends, on the seashore. The ocean is separating them from Lanka. And Jamavant is reminding Hanuman, you are in possession of all of these cities. You are very powerful, O Hanumanji. And what of the Nava Nidhike Data? Nine Nidhi. What are Nidhis, my dear friends? The now Nidhi. Now you see, we sing in Hanuman Chalisa all the time. Ashta Siddhi Nava Nidhike Data. And you know, we always know there are eight Siddhis, nine Nidhis. But what are these? And so it is outlined for us, my dear friends, quite clearly. So you know, when we sing, when we chant Chalisa, we know exactly. Because when we chant, we also praying that Hanumanji would bless us. We are not able to control, my dear friends, the fullness of the Ashta Siddhi. But even if we get one particle, one percent, half a percent of these Siddhis and Nidhis, my dear friends, this in itself would make us very accomplished individuals. So every time you chant Chalisa, every time you perform Hanumanji Pujan, you are praying that he would bless you with even a particle, a fraction of what he possesses. So the nine Nidhis are actually riches. So whereas the Siddhis are powers, the nine Nidhis are riches. Padma, Mahapadma, Shanka, Makad, Kanchap, Mukund, Kund, Neel, and Varcha. Nine Nidhis. And it describes here that these riches actually indicate a very high number surpassing the billions and trillions. Well, we, you know, more equate things in terms of hundreds and thousands, you know. Some people may count wealth and riches in millions, but, you know, we more equate our riches in terms of hundreds of dollars or perhaps thousands of dollars some may count their riches in millions of dollars but the nidhis my dear friends are equated in terms of billions and trillions and so through the grace of hanumanji my dear friends um, these nidhis ashta siddhi nava nidhi kedata all of these powers and riches my dear friends can be bestowed upon us and so upon Reminding him of these powers, something miraculous occurred upon the seashore. Kanak Badana Tab Tej Prakasa Manahu upar girin kar raja Singh nar kar barahi bara Leelahi nayau jal nidhi khara Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Rama Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram Sahi 
प्रेत सहाय रंग तन तेज भी राजा मान अपर गिनिन कन राजा सिंह नार कर बार ही बारा लील ही नाघवु जल निधि धारा जामवंत नल नील अंगर सुग्रीव नदस द एंटायर आर्मी ऑफ श्री रामचंद्र इज असेंबल्ड देयर ऑन द सी शो अमर सुनमान जी डू ही अस्यूम्स अ फॉर्म माय डियर फ्रेंड्स bigger larger than the mountain that stood behind them they are on the sea shore and behind them my dear friends is a very huge mahindra parvat so his body and we just outlined you know uh how the siddhis enables to him to take a form as huge as he wants to and so taking this form larger than the mountain my dear friends uh, he spoke in a voice that shook the earth a very powerful voice when well, you know you would expect if somebody is you know in a very diminutive form a very small form they would have a smaller or you know a uh, a low voice you know and speak in a low volume and of course a larger person and if this someone is large as a mountain that voice would certainly be very strong and very powerful and so he spoke in a voice that shook the earth and he says jamavant i can spring across this ocean and take up the entire mountain to the kut remember we said lanka is built upon a mountain trikut i can uproot the entire mountain trikut and bring it back here with ravan and a host of demons including sita devi who is being held captive by ravan but tell me o jamavant tell me what does my lord expect of me i can single handedly destroy the entire army of ravan but tell me what does my lord require of me it's very important my dear friends the the request of hanuman swami what does my lord require of me i will act upon this o jamavant i will not disappoint my lord i will fulfill whatever instructions my lord has given to me and it's important my dear devotees that we understand what bhagwan expects of us as well you know there are many expectations in this world people have expectations of us in the home the children have expectations of the parent and you as a parent would discharge those expectations the wife have certain expectations of the husband the husband similarly has certain expectations of the wife you have certain expectations at the mandir what about the expectations of bhagwan so whilst we are fulfilling each other's expectations shouldn't we also fulfill my dear devotees the expectation of bhagwan who every single moment of our lives blesses us with the gift of life if you were to re- withdraw his divine energy that jeev atma from us at this moment my dear friends we would cease to be alive so we must also understand what his expectations are and fulfill these expectations himanavare manava jeevan hai sangram his powers are astounding it is he who has created the sun and the moon this entire 
a universe filled with so many inexhaustible resources and nutrients has been created by that Lord to sustain all of us. Understand the great might and power of that divine Lord. Himanavade Manava Jeevanihai Sangram O Bhajale Ram 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 Bhajale Ram 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 Bhajale Ram 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 Himanavade Manava Jeevanihai Sangram Himanavade Being here tonight, my dear friends, is fulfilling one of the expectations of Bhagwan. Remember, Hanumanji has asked, Tell me what does my Lord expect of me? And similarly, Bhagwan expects us to be bhaktas, to be devotees. Prathama bhakti santana karasanga, dusari ratimam katha prasanga. Naudha Bhakti Katha, when he spoke to Shivari, the very first form of Bhakti, Pratama Bhakti Santana Karasanga, to keep the company in satsang. So this is one of his expectations. But Hanumanji is asking Jamavant, tell me, what does my Lord expect of me? And so Jamavant says to him, O Pavan Putra, Sri Ram requires you to cross this ocean and to go to Lanka. Dear, you deliver this ring to Sita Devi and say to her that very soon the Lord would bridge this ocean and march his army into Lanka to rescue you, O Devi Sita, and also to destroy Ravan and his demoniac reign upon this earth. And so, my dear friends, receiving the instructions from Jamavant, Conveyed by Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra. Hanumanji leapt upon that Mahindra Parvat. And it is described for us here in Rama and Katha as he ascended into the sky, as he flew into the air, my dear friends, that entire mountain, the Mahindra Parvat, submerged and went below. 
the ocean. You know, you have mountain ranges below the sea. The ocean is so deep, my dear friends, that you have mountains that are thousands of feet high below the sea. You know, when Bhagwan Krishna left this earthly planet, Mrityuluk, and he went back to his heavenly abode, the entire city of Dwarika was submerged beneath the ocean. You know, for many, many years, this was disputed. You know, how can you have a city beneath the ocean? Now, in fact, you know, National Geographic has sent their cameras beneath the waters of the ocean and they capture for us, my dear friends, the city of Dwarika Puri. And what we see, my dear friends, is precisely what we read in Bhagwat Puran Katha. By the way, we're starting seven nights, Bhagwat Puran Katha to our Monday at La Costana Garden Susulans on Sunday. And you know, when you read Bhagwat Puran Katha, Shukadev Muni describes, my dear friends, a beautiful city of Dwarika Puri, and National Geographic cameras now capture for us the sunken city of Dwarika, my dear friends, beneath the waters of the ocean. And all of these bits of information is important for us as Hindus, for ourselves and for the younger Hindus to know that you know these ancient scriptures. Some people go back 2000 years ago and they say their way is the only way. We go back much further than 2000 years, my dear friends. Ram Avatar is 7000 years old. Krishna Avatar is 5000 years old. And all of these uh, uh, cities that we read of in Bhagwat Puran and Ram and Katha and so on, my dear friends, we have evidence of all of this. What is recorded here and described here in these ancient texts are now being revealed to us, you know, just as Shukadev Ji Muni, Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj and others would have uh, documented, you know, uh, recorded in these ancient scriptures uh, still exist today. And so devotees, leaping into the air, he now began that journey across the ocean and he is headed to where? To Lanka. Now we have described, you know, we read out the Ashta Siddhi, the eight Siddhis and now how these Siddhis enables him to make his body weightless and so Pavan Devata is now blowing the winds towards Lanka. And so Hanumanji arrives there on the city at the entrance to the city of Lanka, my dear friends. Let us listen in this short pie. What occurs when he arrives there? सक समान रूप कपिधारी रूप कपिधारी लंका ही चले वो सुनिरी नगरी जय राम श्रीराम जय जय Sun 
समान रूप कपि धरी लंक ही चले वो सुमिरी नरहरी नाम लंक ने एक निशिचरी सो कह चले सी मोही निंदरी एंड सो फाइनली माय डियर फ्रेंड्स ही वाइव्स इन लंका द सिटी ऑफ लंका इस गार्डेड बाय सेवरल सोल्यर्स दैट रावण हैज पोस्टेड ऑल अराउंड द बॉर्डर्स ऑफ दैट सिटी ऑफ लंका you know the borders of a kingdom of a country if it is not guarded properly you can have you know individuals entering that country unhindered that can bring about instability in that kingdom or that country you know we live in a time now where we are aware of the importance of the protection of the borders when the borders are not you know protected and supervised you know immigrants and all sorts of people are entering the country some for legitimate reasons and others for illegitimate reasons bringing about you know all sorts of problems and so on so ravan actually he he ex- he's expecting some form of retaliation from shri ram and so he has deployed his soldiers all around lanka the borders of that kingdom of lanka and so wherever hanuman ji goes he notices these soldiers so he says i want to enter on detected so masak saman that means he took a very tiny form as tiny as a mosquito again i refer you to the siddhis that we read out and gave the explanation of these siddhis that one of them enables him to make his body as small as he wants to and so taking that tiny form he enters undetected by these soldiers that are guarding the city of lanka and as he resumes his normal form unknown to him there is a secondary guard you know so there are primary soldiers or guards on the outskirts of the city but also my dear friends as he now enters into the city of lanka there are other guards and he is encountered or he meets one a female guard actually whose name is lankini as easy to understand how she got her name being one of the soldiers of lanka she is called lankini and upon seeing him she calls out are you murk o fool a foolish one tum kaha ja where are you going now let us put ourselves in lankini's situation for a moment if one day you are blessed enough to see hanuman ji how would you speak to him certainly not like this o murk o fool the devotee of god jodi pani se would put his hands together he would pay his obeisances his references you would begin to sing hanuman chalisa isn't it this is the way we know to glorify hanuman swami so what does this tell us about lankini she is no devotee at all 
who are her friends? The friends of Lankini, Ravan, Kumkaran. Do you think if you sit in company with Ravan and Kumkaran, you would hear about the greatness of Bhagwan Sri Ramchandra and Hanuman Swami? Nahi, no. In fact, Ravan had forbidden the people of his kingdom from worshipping and glorifying Bhagwan Sri Ramchandra. And so, my dear friends, that association, you know, with these evil and rakshasi individuals had taken its toll upon Lankini. And although, she, you know, she was blessed enough to, to get darshan, to see Hanuman Swami, yet she is saying, O fool, O murk, where are you going? First of all, you must seek my permission. I will either allow you entry or deny you entry into Lanka. So how should he respond to this very impertinent and rude speech from Lankini? My dear friends, he takes around with him the Mukdar. And that is not just for style. He takes around that Mukdar for a very specific reason. And when she spoke to him in this manner, when she disrespected him in this manner, he struck her with one mukdan. She fell to the ground. And he waited there. He did not leave her. He stood there for a few moments and Lankini was able to recover herself after a few moments. And devotees, when she stood up now, when she recovered herself, her attitude had changed. A transformation had occurred. Now, Jodi Pani says, she put her hands together. She bowed with reverence as she should have done in the first place. And she said, Pavan Putra, Chamakaru, forgive me, my Lord. I fail to recognize you. Now, my dear friends, she sings his glories. You see what it takes, my dear friends, to bring some people to their senses? One good mukdar and all the foolishness, all the rudeness and disrespect, my dear friends, disappears from Lankini. Now she speaks with respect as a bhakta would speak. Prabhu, Chamakaro, forgive me. I now know who you are. My dear friends, it seems in today's world, some of our people need a good mukdar as well. When you look at the behavior, the lifestyle of some of our people, my dear friends, they have transgressed, they have trampled upon, they have discarded all the fundamental rules and principles of decency and respect and honor and so on. And I want to tell you, my dear friends, the mukdar comes in different forms. Here, Lankini got the physical blow from the Mukdar. But the Mukdar, my dear friends, comes today sometimes in the form of sickness, accident, some tragedy, some disaster, some loss occurs. And we wonder, you know, why is this happening to me? Perhaps, my dear friends, Bhagwan may have already sent the Mukdar to us to cause us to question ourselves, to wake up, you know, to identify, you know, what is happening? What have I done? But you know what normally happens? Instead of people asking, what have I done? They normally say, some people do me something. Not what did I do? Eh? When something occurs in our lives, this person do something, that person works some ojai. Eh? Nobody says, what did I do? What have I done to, di you know, to cause this to happen? In fact, my dear friends, uh, very rarely do we take blame. Do we, is there any admission on our part that we may have gone wrong? And so Lankini, my dear friends, have been transformed. Now she who one moment before was speaking in a tone of disrespect. Now she addresses him, Pavan Putra. Today I'm very blessed to get to your darshan. O bolo, 
कब लोगे हमरी खबरिया हो बजरंग बली so there she is my dear friends in lanka that female rakshasi now transformed into a devotee of hanuman ji this my dear friends is the power of hanuman ji the power of his blessings in transforming our lives o bolo kab loge hamri khabadiya ho bajrang bali So my dear devotees, Lankini has now been transformed in this manner, coming into contact with uh, Shri Hanuman Swami. 
Let us go to this closing Doha as we wind up our Katha. What words of wisdom she speaks in this final Doha. स्वर्ग अप वर्ग सुख ताच स्वर्ग अपवर्ग सुख धरिए चुला एक अंग चुले नता ही सकल मिली जो सुख लव सत्संग वन साइड ऑफ अ स्केल इफ यू पुट ऑल द जॉयस एंड हैप्पीनेस ऑफ ह्यूमन एग्जिस्टेंस and on the other side of that scale you put the joy and happiness of one moment satsang or communion with god she says that one moment's devotion to bhagwan is going to outweigh all the joys and happiness of this material world how can one moment outweigh an entire lifetime let us put that into perspective she says even if you live to be 75 or even 100 years old all the mundane experiences and joys and happiness of family life and um, all the other indulgences of this world she says uh, cannot outweigh is not as beneficial to us as the joy and happiness of one moment's devotion to god one side of the scale the material side of enjoyment has only a single benefit the other side of the scale the spiritual side has a double benefit whatever we work for and accumulate and enjoy in this world my dear friends is only for this world it has no bearing and no benefit to us when we leave this world but every single moment every single time you sit at the bedi in puja you come and listen to katha you take that lotus of jal and you offer to bhagwan you take your mala and perform mantra jap you perform havan and song every single moment of that you benefit here but you have also made a deposit into the spiritual account and that's the only account my dear friends you have access to and that will benefit us when we leave this world in other words we can work very hard we can save a few million dollars and leave it in the bank account that is of zero benefit to us when we stand before yamaraj it has no benefit whatsoever But when we stand before the Yamaraj and we say to him, Prabhu, I went to the mandir regularly. I would attend yagya, puja. I would help at the mandir. This form of seva is highly recommended and rewarded. You have done very well. Yamaraj would say to such an individual, You have used this manushadir, this human form, for the purpose for which it was intended. This is a scale, my dear friends. we must attain equilibrium balance in all that we do so yes we must all pursue you know the material side and work for the uh, benefit of the family to acquire you know home and land and all the material possessions yes but when that's all we do my dear friends uh, at this expense of the spiritual side then there is no balance in the scale so In this closing Doha, therefore, Lankini is saying, strike that balance 
by all means, pursue the finance and the material gains, but make sure and pursue the spiritual gains. For when we leave this world, it is this, the spiritual gains, that becomes our true wealth. So we will stop our kata at this point in time. And we all set for final arati. So kara ho chai. Let us all stand as we join together in Hanuman Ji ki arati. Sajan chavarshitam yuktam Vahina yojitam maya Deepam grahan Divasya Trailokyam Timirapaham Arati ki jai Hanuman lalaki Dushd kalan Raghunath kalaki Tori jamkare, 
अहिरावन की पूजा उधारे बाए भूजा असुर कल मारे कहीने भूजा संत जनतारे बाए भूजा असुर कल मारे कहीने भूजा संत जनतारे गावे बस बैकुंठ परम पर पावे लंका विघन ये रघुराई तुलसीदास प्रभु आरत गाई लंका विघन तुलसीदास प्रभु आर गाय ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम Brings us to an end of our devotions here tonight. We give thanks to our divine Lord, Shri Hanuman Ji, for your blessings, O Prabhu. We have come together. It is fourth night of devotion to you. We pray this night that you would place your protective hands upon us, O Pavan Putra. May you continue to safeguard us and shelter us against the various dangers and difficulties of this world. With utmost reverence, O Prabhu, we repeatedly surrender onto your lotus-like feet. Mantrahinam, Kriyahinam, Bhaktihinam, Janadhanam, Yatpujitam Maya Devam, Paripurnam Tadastume, Tvameva Mata, Chapita Tvameva, Tvameva Bandhusha Sakha Tvameva Tvameva Vidya Dravinam Tvameva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Prem Sabale Shri Gajanan Swami Ki let us remember devotees, when we chant Jai, we chant victory to Bhagwan. When you chant victory to Bhagwan, in turn, you become victorious in life. So collectively, Shri Gajanan Swami Ki, 
उमापति महारे वकी पवन सुत हनुमान की शिव वृंदावन भी हरिलाल की उड़ेसा जगन्नाथ की बोलो भाई सब संतन की श्री सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय जय सीताराम आस लीजिए कहीं भी सीते रिसीव योर आरती पंचामृत एंड प्रसाद Sankhya Television is not only the first Hindu TV station in Trinidad and Tobago, but Sankhya TV also has the most coverage. You can find Sankhya TV on Facebook by searching for Sankhya Television.